Uh, we are not aware that women and children were killed. We think this is a theater uh, that was made uh, to be used by the Western powers to launch such an attack against Syria. What are you suggesting they died of? There's no obvious injuries. Uh, I believe what our doctors who were there uh, in the hospital uh, at that minute, they were saying uh, they did not see any uh, dead person. But the dead, this is what the ones who were dead in the video. I, I am not aware of uh, dead persons. Our doctors did not see any dead person. So I believe our doctors, not international propaganda. What about the people that our cameras have talked to in the north who survived this attack, who lost their sons and daughters? Are they lying? I think they are not correct. I think they were forced to give such testimonies. And I think the best is to go to the people who are still there in Duma and ask them, because uh, many doctors who were interviewed, who were exactly in the place of the incident on that night, have come to the TVs and said, we did not notice any use of chemical weapons. What was there is that there was sand uh, storms on that evening, and some children came to the hospitals and the elderly to be treated because they were not having enough oxygen. They treated them very shortly, and suddenly somebody from the White Helmets came and said, gases, gases are being, I mean, thrown here and there. And then there was, I mean, uh, havoc among the audience, and people started to be cleaned by water, as you might have seen that, I mean, picture. But what about the videos of the bodies? Uh, I think the, the bodies may be imported from somewhere else. I, I believe that, because this was a big lie. What, what was Britain's specific role in this conspiracy that you would have us believe? Uh, concerning the attack on the 7th of April? Uh, the UK is supporting uh, a lot of uh, terrorist uh, groups in Syria, including the White Helmets. So we believe they are part and parcel of this conspiracy, of the support given to the terrorist groups against the Syrian government, consequent, consequently against the Syrian people. So just to be absolutely clear, you're, you're, saying, you're saying that Britain was involved with faking a chemical attack. Absolutely, absolutely. There seem to be two narratives. One is that this attack was, didn't happen, it was faked with the help of Britain, America and France. And another is that the rebels do have chemical weapons. So which is it? Did it happen or, or Frankly was it speaking, I mean, we shall leave the, the results uh, to the inspectors. But what we are 100% confident of is that Syria did not use chemical weapons against its people because simply we don't have chemical weapons. It's over. It's finished. You say you don't have chemical weapons. A case has been started in Belgium last week in the Antwerp Criminal Court uh, alleging that three Flemish companies exported 96 tonnes of isopropanol, which is a sarin precursor between 2014 and 2016. I am not aware. We did not import any of these materials. I think uh, let them find out who imported this. It may be the terrorist groups or, I mean, these people, but the Syrian government has never, ever imported such materials. The, the, there it's is, over. The, there is documentary evidence. The French Foreign Ministry of Affairs has said since 2014, Syria tried to acquire dozens of tonnes of isopropanol. Uh, the UN Comtrade database, which is a database of worldwide trade, says, says since 2014, 1.28 million kilos of propanol and isopropanol were exported to Syria from countries like Lebanon. There's evidence that you have continued to try and acquire... No, this is not evidence. These are allegations. Uh, if they have any evidence, let them present it to the Syrian government and we shall reply to that. The OPCW has been waiting to access Duma for nearly two weeks, 12 days. Why has it taken so long? No, it is not two weeks. I mean, we have... We, Syria, has invited the OPCW. There was a delay in dispatching the team. Then there was an incident when they went there. Then they came back. And the planning started immediately for the next tour. And uh, they, they, I may, uh, yes. You yes. said there was an incident. They, they were shot at. Who, who were they yes. shot at by? This is an area that you have we, retaken. We, we believe there, were, there, were, there are still uh, sleeping cells from the uh, Islam army. The problem with a delay like this is that people will say, you are covering up. 
the Russians are tampering with the evidence, you're, you're trying to wait for the evidence to decay? No, uh, the, the, it, is, it was the decision of the team. It was not our decision, by way. So you have not been obstructing their Absolutely. progress? Absolutely. I mean, how can? Uh, obstructing this will uh, be reported. Will you give this assurance that they will now have unhindered access to the Absolutely, site? Absolutely, 100%. Because 100. a lot of people will say you've now sanitized it, you've removed all evidence, and so of course you'll let them in. No, no. Uh, chemical weapons will not be subject to cleaning. I want to move on to the missile strikes that were launched against your country by France, Britain and America. Um, they claim that they targeted sites, uh, stockpiles of your chemical weapons. What do you say was hit? Uh, they destroyed uh, a laboratory that could only inspect food stuff and other chemicals for peaceful means. You know, chlorine could be used at each house. Well, well, the, uh, so well, the new this was this was, I mean, the the site they bombarded, but it was not. Uh, for uh, chemical weapons arms. The, the New York Times quotes a, a US military intelligence report saying uh, in t uh, surveillance assets watched a five-ton truck leave the facility at Him Shimshar, which is the, the target that, that Britain hit uh, near Homs uh, the day before the missile strike. It was a five-ton truck with a tarpaulin over the top. You, 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 you moved your stockpiles. Look, I mean, these uh, intelligence services are making big lies. Uh, they should not be trusted. They well, don't people report, say we shouldn't trust you if you use chemical you, weapons in the past. You should not trust us, you should not trust them as well. But there was nothing, absolutely nothing. If they have any evidence, they should have sent the inspectors of the OPCW to go to the place and say there are chemical weapons there and Syria is open for them. President Trump said this was a perfectly executed uh, strike and could not have had a better result. Syria says it shot down most of the missiles. One of, one of you is lying. Are you saying President Trump is lying? I think President Trump is lying. We don't lie. 